All right. Uh, five years ago, could you imagine having your own clothing line? Uh, no, no. It's uh, uh, it's always something I was interested in. I've never actually been with an apparel company before, so um, I always kind of like to try and chisel out my own style. Yeah. And, what is uh, your style? I'm seeing buttons in the front, and I'm seeing triangles. Classic contemporary. Okay. Elegant, sophisticated. All right. But you know, with you know modern 21st century fabrics, yeah. breathable, um, practical, um, all of the above. You're not as loud as Poulter, right? No, you know, we, we were fairly conservative with our first release last season. Yeah. But, um, you know, we're kind of going for it a little bit this year, you know. We got yeah. uh, we got to Mick Retro. I think, yeah. I think that looks pretty cool, you know. Well, you got, you got a little, not to bring Poulter back in, you got a little Poulter pink there. That, that G-Mac pink. It's also available in pink. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, you excited about this? About yeah, very, new, uh, very much so. Very much so. The guys yeah. at Cartel have done a fantastic job. And it's an Irish company, right? It's, it's Irish. So um, they fit makes sense. Our, huh? Irish family company um, yeah. approached me a couple of years ago. Um, they've done a phenomenal job putting the brand and the, right. and the story and right. the history. And it's actually got a bit of depth to it, you know, and it's a, it's a lot of fun and uh, they've done a really great job. Oh, you got job. a lot of new stuff going on. You got a new restaurant, right? Yeah. Is it Nona Blue? Yeah, Nona Blue. Uh, Nona Blue. Nona. Over by Lake Nona. Getting married this year. Um, oh, getting married. Uh, yeah. When are you getting married? Uh, end of September. Yeah. So uh, I've got it all going on. New I can't house. talk you out of it, or no? Well, You're, I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got eight months. You got eight months to talk okay. me out of it. You know, but well, she's, congratulations. She's a great girl, so I think uh, I'll take the interior plunge. designer. Is that interior right? designer. Did, so did she, you meet her, but when she was redoing your house, she, or what? She, she, she was a company that we hired to build my house, and uh, we kind of, uh, we kind of hit it off. Well, good. And what about the restaurant? If I come to your restaurant, what, 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 what? what what do I need to eat? What do I need to drink? Well, hopefully, hopefully you're gonna get probably the best pint of Guinness in Orlando. We're not we're not trying to brag, but uh, we're gonna have a great <laughs> pint of Guinness in there, and uh, you know we're gonna have a. Our concept is the old with the new, so we're gonna have some old traditional dishes okay. on there. You know, maybe some Irish uh, traditional stuff like a shepherd's pie or something like that. Okay. But um, yeah, you're just gonna have a good time. That's right. uh, that's the bottom line. Hey, the Ryder Cup. You get a perfect storm. Europe beats the U.S. to come back. What what gets into your buddy Poulter at the Ryder Cup? You're in the team room with him. What what, what is he what is he eating, drinking, uh, swallowing? Yeah, he's <laughs> he's just. I mean, Poulter is one of these guys who's just wired 24/7. Yeah. But he he seems to he seems something that happens to him at the Ryder Cup. You know, he gets uh, he gets charged up with. He just kind of gets. Uh, I'm not really quite sure what comes over him. I'm sure he's asking himself yeah. the same question. Right. He'd like to play like that every week, but if you were if you're that fired up every week, you could probably only probably play ten times a year. Right. So uh, he, he's awesome. I mean, he's uh, he's really uh, made himself as a, as an iconic figure in European Ryder Cup golf at the minute, and um, he's a, he's a great guy to have. In your one team. last question for you: what, Forty years ago, they used to say a U.S. Open victory was worth a million dollars. Okay, I, I wonder. You won at Pebble. What is it worth? What do, what do you think it's worth? You probably wouldn't have a clothing line without a U.S. Open line. You probably wouldn't have a restaurant. What's a U.S. Open victory been worth to you monetarily? Uh, that's a, you know, it's a tough, tough one to answer. Um, you know, I'd say in today's monetary terms, it's probably worth more than a million. Let's just put it that way. Oh, and, well, uh, it's just the yeah. doors it opens, right? All the you know, it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, the most important thing is... I'm still focused on playing golf. I want to play great golf. Right. Um, all these periphery things are a lot of fun. Um, but if they take away from what I'm trying to do on the golf course, then we got a problem. So right. I'm trying to get the balance right. Yeah. You know, I want to. I want to be able to uh, uh, have enough money in the bank to, to bring up my family and kids and, yeah. and do all that good stuff. But uh, first and foremost, just trying to focus on the golf. Okay. Congratulations with the engagement. Thanks, Ruder. Good seeing Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, right. brother. All right. Thank you.